Hey, thanks for stopping by. My name is Yoshi Itoku and I'm reporting for Gamers Classified. Today, I'm in Shell Harbour, New South Wales for Expand Gong 4. Expand Gong is Australia's most versatile fighting community tournament. Stay with me as I profile some of the players and catch up on all the action. I'm here with Tom and Simon. Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, I'm pretty good actually. I'm pretty excited to be here. I my first expand gong, so pretty excited, hoping for the best. Definitely. And what about you? Uh, yeah, I'm doing really good. I just played my pool and I got out first seed, so very happy. Can't wait to top 64 tomorrow. And um, what games are you two playing? Um, so I've entered in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. That's my main game. So my big focus, what I want to do well in. I've also entered uh, Soul Calibur 6, which is a new game, came out uh, late last year, I think, and I just want to give it a go, test the waters, see what it's like, and hopefully it's a fun game. Definitely. Yeah. And how about you? What's happening tomorrow? Uh, so I've just entered in Smash Ultimate, and it's Bulls today and Top 64 tomorrow, so get all the best players together, and hopefully I do all right. And so you mentioned that this was your first Expand Gong. Um, what's the atmosphere been like so far? Um, so far it's pretty overwhelming because there's so many people. I come from Cairns and the scene's really minuscule. We don't have any big events like this. And it's just really, really exciting, crazy to see all these people. And they're excited people. They're all as excited as I am. I'm not the one trying to carry the, the mood around. Everyone's just really, really into it and I love it. And how about you? Is this your first Expand Gong experience? Uh, this is actually my second one. I came last year, and last year was absolutely nuts with extra beating foe at the very end, so the Aussie guy taking out the international. And this one is looking to be equally good. The crew battle last night. Uh, Australia didn't win, but it was very exciting. It was very good. All right. Uh, do you have anything on after Expand Gong? Any other competitions? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be heading to BAM Battle Arena Melbourne. BAM 11 in May, late May, so that's pretty much the big premier um, fighting game tournament in Australia and I haven't been before, I've heard it's really good and yeah, I'm hoping I can impress, do alright and show what I've got. And what are you up to Simon? Uh, nothing on the plan, nothing on the cards yet, but uh, Perth is always looking to do cool tournaments and I think we're going to have something big coming up fairly soon, so keep an eye out for that. I can vouch for that and our regular viewers will know that we have covered some uh, community events in Perth before, but that's enough for me. Gentlemen, if people wanted to follow you online, how can they do that? Uh, well, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's Asiatic TV, or you can follow me on Twitter, Asiatic SSB. Come, come out, <laughs> hang out, it'd be cool. And I'm on Twitter at, at Tuckachan, so yeah, just at me if you want to talk or anything, just let me know what's up. Well, Tom and Simon, thank you very much for your time. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here with Cod. Hey Cod, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing, Yoshi? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. So tell us, what games are you playing today? Um, so I've just finished up Project M Doubles with my good friend Mark, aka Amp. Um, I will also be entering Ultimate Double Singles and also PM Singles. So I'm seated quite high for Singles and Ultimate and PM from memory. Um, so hopefully I can get a few wins and take a few names this tournament. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> so is this your first Expand Gong? This is my third. In fact, uh, two years ago, Expand Gong 2 was my first ever tournament full stop for Project M. Um, so I'm always glad to come back because they run a good tournament and they have a, I have a good time every time. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Have you seen any changes over the years in the tournament? Um, quite a few people entering um, Ultimate this year, but it definitely brings the attendance up. Last year kind of dipped down a little bit by about 100 or so, but um, with the new game coming out um, and with other fighting games coming in as well, so we've got Unist and uh, Soul Calibur and stuff like that, um, we've got a lot more attendees. So, um, yeah, a, a problem, apart from the attendees, everything kind of seems the same. Everyone's so friendly, you know, everyone's got that, it's got the same atmosphere, you know, everyone's sort of welcoming. So, yeah. I, I can vouch for that, everyone is welcoming. <laughs> All right, so if people wanted to follow you on social media, how can they do that? Um, so you can follow my Twitter. It's uh, C Rocket Smash, uh, C R O C K E T S M A S H. Um, I have changed my tag a couple of times, but it is just COD now, not COD Rocket. So 
yeah, just call, just follow me on Twitter. Um, I post funny memes and I do polls every now and again. So please, please watch this space. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much for your time and no good luck with all your games today. No worries. Thank you very much, Yoshi. I'm here with Callisto. Hey Callisto, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. And yourself? Not too bad, thank you. So tell us, what pools have you entered today? So I've entered Project M singles and Smash Ultimate singles. And uh, I'm not really projected to do well in either, but I'm, I'm enjoying either side. Definitely. Um, so tell us, do you have any sort of fun memories of other Expand Gongs? So this is my third Expand Gong. Uh, my first one was Expand Gong 2, two years ago, where I played Rivals of Vifa. Um, a game not at this year's event, but I still have very fond memories where I create a really big upset to um, get myself on the podium for third place, so really still clinging on to that one. And um, last year was a bit more of a quieter event, but I still have a really good time um, organising again Rivals of Aether and making a name for myself and making sure that an old guy like myself can still keep up with the young blood. Sounds good. So if people wanted to uh, keep up with you on social media, how can they do that? So the best way to get a hold of me is via Twitter, which is at casual underscore Callisto, uh, really highlighting my competitive nature these days. <laughs> <laughs> Too easy. Well, thank you very much for your time. Very welcome. Thank you so much. Hey, Amp, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Um, so tell us, what pools have you entered today? I'm currently in Smash Ultimate doubles and singles and also PM doubles and singles. Cool. All right. So how long have you been competing? Uh, about two and a half years now, I think, at least for PM. And I was a little bit in Smash 4, but gave up after a while. Yeah, no worries. Um, all right. So if people wanted to stay up to date with you, how can they do that? I can reach me at amp underscore PM. That is too easy. Well, we'll let you get back to it and thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. TSF Goat, hey, how are you? Very good, thank you. How's it been? Yeah, not too bad. Too bad. So tell us, uh, you're participating in some competitions and you're running a bracket today. Yeah, that's that correct, right? I'm doing both. I'm running Soul Calibur 6 for PS4. I'm I'm competing in Tekken 7, mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Fighters. Wow. Uh, I was just in Smash, Forever 02. Uh, I'm in doubles with my mate, and I think that's me, yeah. That's quite a lot. So tell us, what is your training routine? Ah, uh, pretty much just uh, do as much as I can and try not to neglect my loved ones. <laughs> I just there's so much out there. There's so many good games like on the market that it's so hard to just settle for like just one. Like there's more games that I wish were here. And if they were here, like let's say Dead or Alive Six or Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, if they were here, I'd be entering them, and I'd be up to like what seven, eight games. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so with the brackets that you're running, uh, what feedback do you have? Are there any people that we should be keeping an eye on? Any future stars? Uh, definitely Runus. Runus is a guy to watch out for in SoulCal. I'd argue he's either maybe top two or the best in New South Wales. Uh, we got the Beast coming in from Melbourne, really strong player. And he's just like, he's uh, he's like the daddy of Tekken in Melbourne, I would say. So I don't even need to say watch out because people are doing it. You know him. Uh, I don't mean to brag, I'm okay. The only two tournaments I've entered, I got top three, so I don't know. Alright. Um, no, we're getting a lot of good got a lot of new players coming in today, which is great. Like I'm getting the vibe a lot of them haven't played the game. But the fact that they've been so willing to try it out, jump in, and have a go. We got a lot of our good players also willing to help them out. So it's been great. It's been really fantastic for that. So what do you have on after expand gong? Uh, after Expand Gong, I've got Battle Arena Melbourne. Like, that's my next big major. Yeah. That's going to be May 17th and 19th, the Melbourne Exhibition Center. Uh, honestly, if people haven't signed up for it and they're going to be able to get to the area, please do it. It's going to be bloody amazing. I've got to watch my language. Um, my next event, just in general, is going to be Givo 7, which is at uh, Guzman v. Pedro up in Newcastle. Great guys, great venue. Uh, they're running like Tekken and Smash and all that. So, if you haven't seen that, please do it. After that, we've got Bankstown Runbacks, which is, yeah, I'm, I'm busy. Really, really bloody busy. And that's at the end of the month, at, um, I think it's April 28th, at the Bankstown Sports Center, I think. Okay. Don't quote me on that. It's somewhere in that area. It's Bankstown. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm half right. But now we've got a lot of stuff coming up before BAM even happens. So it's a really good time to be in the scene. All right. 
Right. And if people wanted to keep up with you, how can they do that? Uh, they can hit me up on Twitter at my handles at TSFGO. Uh, also, my team that I play for, uh, Arclight, we're at, um, we're at Arclight AUS. Thanks, AUS. Yeah, Oz. Um, other than that, yeah, pretty much just uh, bug me in a tournament. Say hi. Tell me I'm bad. Aww. Most people do it anyway. No. <laughs> well, I know you're very busy, so I'll let you get back to it. But okay. thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. I'm here with Asura's Abyss. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good today. Doing pretty well. Yeah, so what games are you competing in? Uh, so today I'm competing in Soul Calibur 6 and Tekken 7. And how are you going so far? Uh, so I haven't played any Tekken 7 so far, but I've had one match in Soul Calibur 6 and I won. It was pretty pretty easy match, honestly. So. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Um, Alright, so I see you've got the fight pad. Yes. Um, Fight pads or controllers, which one do you think is better and why? Uh, so, I'll give a cliche answer first, which is use whatever you prefer. But personally, as you can see, I use a fight stick, uh, which is right here. Uh, I've modified it myself. So, I'm using the Razor Panthera uh, stick. And I've got a Korean lever in, which is different to most. And I've got silent buttons, so people can't hear my buttons when I'm next to them. So, yeah. Very clever. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I prefer arcade sticks. It's what I kind of started using to practice fighting games. So yeah, sure. Um, all right. So what have you got on after expand Gong? So after expand Gong, I've got uh, up in Newcastle, uh, Jivo, which is uh, Newcastle monthly. Uh, so I've been traveling from Sydney to Newcastle, and then a few weeks later, we've got uh, Bankstown Runbacks number three in Bankstown, of course, and. Uh, I'll be attending that as well. I'm looking for at least top 8 in both events right. for Tekken. Best wishes. And if people wanted to stay up to date with you, how can they do that? Uh, so if people want to find me, uh, I'm on social media. Uh, so get ready for my long handle. It's at TK underscore Asura's Abyss. It's on my shirt right here. Beautiful shirt. Uh, yeah. So shout out to, uh, just a quick shout out to Arclight, which is my sponsor, and the other teammates. So. Yeah. Well, as soon as a bit, thank you very much yeah, for your time. No problem. <laughs> I'm here with Sean Thorpe, the organizer of Expand Gong 4. Hey, Sean, how are you? Yeah, good, good. I'll uh, be a bit more rested after the tournament's done, but uh, yeah, good for the moment. Um, so I hear that you just uh, went pretty well in your last match. Yeah, I uh, got a little bit lucky actually against uh, one of the really good players from Victoria. I uh, managed to get out winner's side, so I'll be playing uh, top 32 tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Congratulations. Um, so this is Expand Gong 4. Would you like to go back to Expand Gong 1 and tell us how this event got started? Yeah, sure. So the event actually started as a bit of a joke. Um, every major city was running a major level event mm -hmm. and a few of our mates were at the Wollongong community were like, Wollongong's a major city, why not? Let's just hold an event. And someone made that as an offhand comment and I said, okay, we're doing it, off we go. And uh, they go, what are we going to call it? And you know, someone said Expand Gong is a, just a bit of a silly name. I'm like, okay, it's done now. It's Expand Gong. It's going to happen in Wollongong. This is the date. Off we go. And everyone's like, nah, that's silly. It's not going to work. You know, why would you try and even do that? So much you know, effort. And you know, we just basically stuck our head down and, and ran with it. As soon as the event was up, we knew there was a pressure on us to run a really good event. Um, and that really motivated us to compete with all of the other major cities as far as big events go. So four years later, how has Expand Gone grown? Oh, it's crazy. Um, we started off with one car from Queensland and one car from Victoria, and all of the locals, and you know, Sydney included. Um, and now we've got five internationals here. We're streaming through VGBC, which is a big American uh, Twitch channel. Uh, the venue is massive. We've got 300 people in there. It's just every, every way that it could have grown, it has grown. So is this more of a community event or more of a professional competitive event? I'd love to think that it's a mix of the two. Uh, we do want to offer a professional event and really uh, expand the esports profile of you know, Wollongong and the Illawarra. But at the same time, it's the fighting game community. Uh, and that's something that we really try to focus on here is the community of the event. We hold uh, parties on Friday night, meetups on Saturday and Sunday night, and another party on the Monday night. 
and the main focus is just while everyone's travelled so far to get here is trying to keep everyone together, get everyone playing games against people that they haven't seen before uh, and hanging out, having a beer with a few of the guys and just meeting new people. So are there any particular highlights from Expand Gong this year that really stuck out for you? Yeah, so we actually had a opening party on the Friday night at City Diggers in town and they were kind enough to host us. We had about 100 players there and we ran a state v state crew battle which essentially meant we got the, represent the top five players from each state uh, to represent their state against each other to see who the strongest state was. Uh, Victoria ended up taking it out over Queensland. Uh, Wollongong had a great showing. Uh, we ended up losing to Queensland by you know one stock, but we, we got in there and we had a good go. Uh, after that, we ran Australia versus the internationals, and Australia went nuts, just went above and beyond what was expected. We came in there thinking that we'd get destroyed and that you know most of the internationals wouldn't even play. It came down to last stock, uh, last game, last hit. And yeah, the crowd was just nuts the entire time and it was just really cool to have you know, all the states versus each other and have the rivalries going there, but then it was Australia versus five internationals that were in there, so the room was going nuts. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun, so if people wanted to volunteer or maybe participate, how can they get involved? Uh, the VGA run this event, uh, sorry, Video Game Association run this event uh, once a year, but we also run monthly events at the university as well as weekly events on a Friday night. So there's plenty of opportunities to get involved. Uh, you can get involved by following us on Facebook at uh, Wollongong University Video Game Association or the Wollongong FTC, which is more specifically fighting games. Um, that or you can always message me on Twitter. Uh, the handle's 4PyX. Well, Sean Thorpe, thank you very much for your time. No worries. Thank you very much.